Hello everyone, this is Victor. What I'm going to be doing right now is walking you through a process in PowerSchool to do honor roll um, in a less traditional way. And the reason for that is because we actually need to not use the stop honor roll system uh, because we've had some GPA issues in the past. Um, and so using it in a way that we can define is a little bit easier for us to use. Um, but that means it's a little bit more complicated, so keep that in mind. What you're going to need to do is go ahead and log into PowerSchool and you're going to want to go ahead and select the school where you'll be running this calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to our high school. Now, once you're in here, you're going to notice that I am not going to initially go to a report system. Um, and the reason for that is because I need to do a special action or a special function. So I'm going to so select the special function uh, button instead. Now what I want to do is actually search by GPA. Now the beauty of that search is I can search for selected students. So if I had selected just our seniors, um, I could have just selected those and run the GPA analysis on just those students if I would like. Now what I can do is I can set cumulative or term GPAs for specific amounts. Now this term GPA is vital so that I can actually limit our GPAs to simply a semester two GPA and I can set them to greater than a 3.8 let's say for high honor roll and that I am using the correct GPA method which for us is simply the KIS method. Now once I hit submit it's going to display all of these students for me so that I can actually see what those GPAs are and which students have which GPA. Now I can continue to do this search again and again um, and what it will let me do is select students so if I select students with a GPA higher than a 3.0 and then run the same search on those students and say I want GPAs less than a 3.8 it will give me students in the range of 3.0 to 3.8 so that I can get just those specific students and save those to a spreadsheet or print them if I would like. So this is a very handy way to locate GPA information. If on the other hand you're doing an eligibility search, you can do this search by grades or attendance where you're looking at specific quantities of lower grades or low percentage grades uh, for those same students. If you have any questions about doing these searches, whether that's by GPA or by grades and attendance, please feel free to reach out to me directly or leave a comment on this video. Thanks.